Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another exclusive tutorial. This time, how to route the Galaxy S2 easiest method. Okay, so as I mentioned there in the beginning, this is what I feel is the easiest and simplest method to get more than just root, and uh, it involves flashing a kernel via Odin uh, using a package developed by Chainfire on Next Day Developers. Chainfire has been around for a long time, and he's actually a pioneer and innovator for a lot of different hacks for a lot of different devices, and uh, we've seen them all over the place, and obviously popping up again in the Galaxy S2 region has produced some very easy to use kernels to flash uh, for your Galaxy S2 device. Um, now basically the way this works is we download the file that we need, we open Odin, which is a closed source uh, tool from Samsung that is used to flash Samsung firmwares to Samsung phones, and we just flash the kernel, simple as can be. Now before we start, you need to get your drivers. You can get those in the link in the description below at my website, they'll be under the download section. Once you've gotten the drivers, uh, just open them up, install them, it's a very simple process to install the drivers, uh, next, 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 finish type thing. Once those are done, we can pick up right now on the next step. So first thing you want to do is power on the Galaxy S2, click the settings button, choose the settings option, go all the way to the bottom, and go to about phone. This is going to tell us which kernel we have installed already. So we can see we have KE7. You're looking at the last three digits before the CL number. So we have KE7. Now, you may have a different uh, version. There's a lot of different kernels to pick uh, from Chainfire. He's got KE2, KE7, as we have, KE8, KF1, and if you even go a little further down at this time, KF2 and KF4 are also down there. He says they're untested, but others have reported that they've worked fine. So go ahead and verify which kernel you have, and go ahead and download the correct uh, zip file from Chainfire right here. Save that somewhere to your desktop. Also, you can download Odin to use with this right here in the link in the description below as well. And um, then we'll go to the next step. So go ahead and download that, and we'll catch up with you guys in just a second at the next step. Okay, once we have downloaded the correct file from Chainfire here in the uh, XTA Developers thread, let's check out and see what's actually in that file. It's one file, it's a tar file. Tar files are flashable files by Odin, so go ahead and extract that. Now I'm using WinRAR to take a look at the zip file. You can use WinZip, WinRAR, uh, Windows 7 probably has uh, built-in capabilities to look at zip files, but get that tar file out of the package and place it somewhere else. For example, I've made a folder here and called it Galaxy SGTI 900. Now what we want to do is power the phone down. Uh, before you do this, you can go ahead and download the Odin 1.85. Uh, package below uh, from my website uh, and once you've gotten that downloaded go ahead and power the phone off so power off and uh, now what we're going to talk about is getting into download mode so with your drivers installed Odin downloaded the correct tar file downloaded go ahead and open Odin here we have our Odin right here and we're ready to enter download mode now, you can enter download mode in two different ways. You can use the factory uh, standard method of volume down plus the center button plus power, or you can use the nice handy dandy download mode jig for Galaxy S1 and 2 devices. You can pick this jig up at our website uh, in the link in the description below, just $8, a little bit more for international customers, but not too much. And uh, it's a great way to get to download mode, and more importantly, on the Galaxy S2, it is a fantastic way to reset the binary firmware counter, which is a built-in firmware counter that Samsung has installed into these devices uh, to track how often you have downloaded and flashed um, non-official firmwares, or kernels in this case. And uh, this actually will reset the phone to where you can't tell if the phone's ever been flashed. I'll show you more about that in here in a sec. So we're going to use the conventional method of volume down, center button, plus power. Hold all three down till you see the warning sign. Oh, I didn't get on it just right there. I mean, sometimes this case kind of gets in the way of uh, me doing this. Turn the phone back off and try it one more time. That's volume down, center key, plus power. 
Sorry for wasting 10 seconds of your time. And there we are, the warning, uh, the warning screen, custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone and installed applications. Volume up to continue, volume down to cancel. We're gonna continue. And uh, this is the standard way to enter download mode. At this point, our phone has uh, already marked that it has been flashed, uh, or that it has entered custom download mode. But uh, I'll show you how to clear that in just a moment with the download mode jig, which I highly recommend, especially if you're gonna be using this around for a while. So now, I click the PDA button, and I browse out to where I have my Chainfire uh, TAR file. So there's mine, KE7, version 4 is the current one. And now just mimic your settings to be just like this. Make sure that repartition is not checked. Make sure that the auto reboot and the reset time are checked. And then our PDA option is selected for the kernel itself. Now we can prepare to flash this kernel. So go ahead and set up your settings just like this and we'll go to the next step. All right, with your phone in download mode, Odin set up and configured the way we need it and your drivers installed, go ahead and plug the device in. And you should see a COM port show up here as soon as your drivers have detected the device. This may take up to 20 seconds for the first time if you've never connected a Galaxy S2 device. Also keep in mind at this point if you aren't getting anything and you're getting driver problems, don't rely on your old Galaxy S drivers to work. You will need the new ones in the link in the description below at my site as the original packages didn't contain Galaxy S2 drivers as the device is fairly new. All right, so now we've got our COM port. That means that the computer sees the phone. Let's go ahead and click start. Side by side here, you'll see a blue bar flash across for completion. There it is. And the phone will reset itself. And now is where we will see the um, yellow exclamation point here in just a moment. I'll show you guys that more. The charging screen may have actually gotten in the way there, uh, but we'll see that in just a second. So we'll power up here. And there it is. There's the yellow exclamation point. Now that's indicating to Samsung that this phone has been flashed with a non-official firmware, modem, kernel, what have you. So I'm gonna power the phone off before it powers on and I show you everything else. And I'm gonna show you guys what the Galaxy S download mode jig can do for you. So the phone is off. And we'll take our jig, insert, three seconds later we'll be in download mode, but we'll see an additional line here. Now we see download information succeeded, erasing download information succeeded. This means that our firmware counter has now been reset. So now we'll power back off and that exclamation point that we originally saw will be gone. This is a very useful tool if you need to use the phone and turn it in for warranty purposes or you're trying to sell the phone you don't want it to look too you know, risque. So now it's gone, back to normal, good to go. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. The phone's gonna boot up and we'll review our changes. All right, we're booted up here. Go ahead and unlock. Everything obviously at the beginning looks exactly the same. However, we now have root, we have busybox, and we have clockwork mod recovery, which is useful for flashing zips, uh, for clockwork mod recovery, zip files, and a lot more. Uh, busybox is used to give us all the hardcore Linux commands, uh, such as copy, and things like that that the actual Android phone doesn't even come with. So very useful commands, and you'll learn more about those as you get into modding, and you'll understand why you need BusyBox, Root, and Clock Mod Recovery later on. So let's go ahead and go to an app such as Titanium Backup. This is a Root requesting app. It will require Root. It didn't work before. Let's see what happens now. Asking for Root rights, and this is SuperUser. We'll say allow. SuperUser is an application that keeps track of which applications need root commands, and that way you don't always have to say allow. Super user will remember this for you, and you'll have root access. So there's root access. We have root access just fine there, and we have BusyBox installed. No need to verify that. Trust me, it's there, especially if you have root. Let's go ahead and power off and take a look at Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let's take just a moment to power off, and uh, to enter recovery mode, it's very similar to download mode. It's volume up, center key, and power all at the same time. Let's see if I can actually get it correct the first time. And uh, so that's volume up, center button, and power. Hold until you see the uh, boot logo, then release. And in a moment, we'll be in our recovery mode. All right, there's our orange clockwork mod recovery 4.0.0.2. 
and this actually allows us to install custom ROMs from here. So be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube, bookmark our site, we are mobiletechvideos.com. We can debrick a ton of phones, we have soft debricking skills for the uh, Galaxy S2. JTAG will be available momentarily and we'll actually be able to repair any condition of a brick for the Galaxy S2. We can already can repair any condition of a brick for your Galaxy S1 devices such as Captivate, Vibrant, i9000, Epic, the Galaxy Tab, and a lot, lot more. So uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber here. We'd love to have you bookmark the site. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Lots of places to reach us. So uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Once again, you can get that Galaxy S download mode jig in the link in the description below. And uh, we'd love to, uh, to have you as a viewer. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And uh, it'll most likely be how to install uh, Lightning ROM and how to install a custom ROM as well as how to change your boot screen logo So lots of videos coming up for the Galaxy S2. I look forward to serving you guys, especially you new Galaxy S2 viewers And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future. So talk to you guys later. Bye